Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. I am Bala Ranganath. In this session, we are going to see how to take input from the user through a command called ask in console. Let's get started. Taking input from the user is very important part of automating an RPA process or robotic process. It's often times required in a human intervention to an automated process which we are creating it. Example, you may need an approval, you may need a confirmation to move forward or if there are conditions which your bot cannot take decision, it needs to be sent to human for approvals or processing. For those steps to take an input from the user, you could use a command called ask. In RPA, this is also called as human in the loop process, H-A-L, or wherein whenever you want to involve a human in the bot process, you can achieve it by taking an input from the user through mouse or a keyboard command. The command is called ask. Ask is pretty straightforward. It prompts for user to enter something pretty straightforward in a command prompt. The syntax is ask and a prompt. Ask and the prompt prompt has a statement. Whatever the statement user wants to ask. Example, what is the date of the receipt? And you provide the format and the date. Or what is your designation? Let's look into the example, how to use ask, how to store in the memory and how to display back. Let's jump into it. Start your notepad plus plus. Just type ask as the syntax is and provide a prompt. In my case, I would ask, enter your designation for approval and just save. Go to your location where you want to save it. In my case, I'm going to save it in tag UI flow slash example. I want to say ask dot example or ex dot tag and just say save. So now you see it has saved as ask dot tag. Now launch your command prompt. You can launch it by going to start menu. In the start menu, you have uh, window systems. In the window systems, you have command prompt. You can click on command prompt and uh, go to your directory where your Tag UI file is to run it, it's straightforward. Tag UI and provide the file name in our case, ask ex.tag, and let's run it in a headless mode so that we don't want to have a browser. So when you click on it, enter. And when you enter, what should start? It has started and it is asking for your enter your designation for approval. I say invoice. admin and enter. So this finishes. So in this example, we have just entered and ask has taken the input, but we are not able to reproduce the input. So let's, let, let's look into the example of how do we store the information? How do you retrieve back? So if you see here, we have entered the information and it has taken, but we are not using it for processing something or we're not using it for displaying something. So ask takes the input from the user and store it in a variable. That variable is called ask underscore results. So tag you internally stores them into a memory and that's saved in a variable called ask underscore result and which you can retrieve it back. So we'll see an example how we can able to achieve it. Let's take the same example and we say, hey, echo and say, thank you for providing designation and display the designation. So that should be displayed in a, in a quote as ask underscore result and close the quote. So it has to be displayed in this particular fashion so that it gets displayed back. To make it a little bit more neat, I'll add a line to this process so that it looks a little bit demarked. Okay, so let's save this and run it again. The same statement, enter. So we entered, it started again, and it is asking for the designation. I'm going to say the same thing in voice admin and hit enter. Now you see 
thank you for providing designation invoice admin so in in this example you have just seen that i have provided only i have provided only the message and i'm just displaying it as what has been inputted by the user so whenever we say ask underscore result ask underscore result is stored by ask command in this variable called ask underscore result and uh, result gets stored and then you can always retrieve it back by just calling it within this codes the codes are important if you don't give the codes it will treat it as a normal statement you have to put it between these codes to really display the value this finishes our session for ask we'll see another command in the next session